Charles Little, uh, the runner for Do to Stars, um, with all the battles that he's been through, so he's working into it as I throw over to you, Chief. I reckon we'll talk to Charles Little at some point on the EFL tonight, but we are underway. Yes, we are, Chief, and it's Eagles, the recruit with the dreadlocks, winning it down for Duders. They're winning the clearance, they're getting it forward. That's a good tackle there. Calls for holding the ball, not given. Bit of a scramble on 50 for the Duders, and the umpire crosses his arms. We'll have a ball up. Great tackle there by Kelly. Just stopped Marky Anderson in his trucks. Ball up. Third up there for West Coburg. Got it moving forward. The clearance there by Abdul Weed. His kick is smothered. They're trying to get it moving. Abdul Weed again gets the handball out. He plays a 1 2. His kick along the wing just short of its target. Tackle there. They're getting it, trying to move forward. Ooh. The Duders. Umpires picked out a free kick and all that, and it's going the way of Essen and Duda Stars. Rogers has it. Again, one of the new faces for Duders. It's on this broadcast wing. And the mark, or well, the option uh, for the mark provided by Mark Anderson. Kicked some ripper goals in the grand final, Jambo. He had a good day. Yes, he uh, did, and he's had a good start to 2016. At Windy Hill, of course, that was against Craigie Byrne. As Vocali, this is his first touch for Essendon Duda Stars, and he is a potential goal assist. It's an inside 50, and it is effect an effective kick. Mark taken by Shiloh Smith. He goes over the top, and an early shot on goal coming up for Robbie Hicks. That was just well weighted, just waited for Hicks to be clear. The 50s, there's a lot of West Coburg players in the defensive 50, but just hit his target, what he had to do, and now Robbie Hicks needs to kick this goal. Adrian Jamison, very important for Stephen Vocali getting an early touch. Yep, and as I said, he's had to work hard to get into the senior team, so good on him and good to have a good first touch. Goal kicking will be very difficult at this end of the ground, the northern end, the Bell Street end, if you want. This kick from Robbie Hicks was off the side of the boot. A minor score, Duda's on the board. Nearly two minutes gone. Jack Yellen plays on from the kick in. He runs about 15 metres, kicks along almost up the middle. Eagles was up for Duders, couldn't take the mark. Umpire has picked out a free, and it looks like it's going the direction of Simon Clark for the Stars. He gets the handball off. Looks like Vest Premier. He gets it back to Clark. Clark goes into the pocket, looking for the man in Frank Hughes. Hit. And he was oh, held wow. there by Watterson. And it'll be Cleve Hughes, the former Richmond Tiger, to have a shot on goal from about 35 metres out. It's really important today, guys, for Duders, at least in the first quarter, to lower their eyes. And they're, they're really going against the breeze in this first quarter. You can see it's quite breezy. But uh, for, for them to lower their eyes and look for targets and not blast away, they're, they're definitely hitting up their targets at the moment. Damien Peck, boundary side today. So in comes Hughes, very deliberate approach, slow run up, he has the kick, and he's missed it to the near side. So that is two behinds for the Duders and West Coburg yet to score, yet to really get into their forward half actually. It's going to be Joe Drake to bring this in. And he goes to himself, comes to this broadcast side and goes straight down the line. This one's already in the middle of shore reserve. No mark was taken. In the end, Eagles got claimed by a couple. It's on ground level. Ball up in the centre square. Three minutes gone. Two behinds for Duders. That's all the scoring that we've had so far today. Umpire throws it up. In the middle of this very small ground, Abdul Wahed got the hand pass out. And then Mo Saar tried to work his way through. But plenty of traffic. We'd expect a lot of that on such a narrow ground. Another ball up. Far away from the centre wicket area. Umpire throws it up once more. That ground level, claiming it was, that was Vez Premi, inside 50, go Duders again, and it's a good mark taken by Hughes. On the lead there in front of Tom Watterson, Hughes moves it on, gets it to his skipper, Smith wants to play on, has a shot oh, from the pocket. Shiloh. Shiloh Smith has adapted to Premier beautifully, he kicks the first goal of the game, 1-2-8, Duders, West Coburg, nothing. Well, wow, that was. Um, I've just been watching Abdul Wayed and Shiloh. Uh, Jakey Miles seems to have gone to Abdul Wayed, but he's he's got so much time and space. But so Shiloh Smith, you know, like do they? He's always got usually the first tag, but it looks like that both clubs are just going to back their on ballers to go head to head. But tagging has sort of gone out of football, hasn't it, Adam? Yeah, That's kinda. That's right, Jambo. As the centre bounce, 
moving forward, West Coburg through Baravi. Mark wasn't taken there. Good defensive work by Jamie Anderson. He looked like he tried to get over the line, but he couldn't. And the ball has crossed the line on the very far side of the ground for us in our commentary position today. Yeah, deep in West Coburg's pocket. Um, the ball during the reserves game was stuck a lot down there. It's like a magnet, so I'm sure we'll see the ball down there plenty today. Still waiting for our first vortex of the year two, Jambo. As there's a flying shot on goal there out of the stoppage and West Coburg are on the board this afternoon. They're one behind, Duda's two behinds. You're just saving your vortex for something special, Jambo? You no, just decided to no, bury it? No, the vortex was, so 2015, so... Um, yeah, haven't done much special comments this year. Have to have to do some research. Duda's bring this ball in over the top, trying to get a hand on it. Was Eagles couldn't take the mark, and Anderson under a fair bit of pressure. In fact, that was Day under a fair bit of pressure. Clothie is next in line. He got bumped out of the contest, and it was actually well won by Baravi. He gets it back now. Tommy Baravi wants to set it up. In fact, have a poke himself, maybe. Quick reply for West Coburg. Two goals in this game, and both. We'll end up on the highlights reel. It is 117 West Coburg, Essendon, Duta, Stars. Should be 128, shouldn't they? That's right, Chief. Well, 1210 doesn't make sense on the scoreboard here of Chaw Reserve. No, the kids on the scoreboard, they need to work on their. We've six already plus stuffed one, it up. 6 plus 2, but that was if a If you're on the scoreboard, up. Northwest FM, that's how you can get the proper score, gentlemen, if, if you want to. Any just help on, with that? On Baravi just a moment ago, he really earned his goal there. It wasn't just a magnificent kick. He followed up, had a second effort along the boundary and got the bump and then, you know, the scoop and the lovely delivery through the goals. He's probably kicked that at training a thousand times, <laughs> so... Great stuff at ground level, fellas. As we have the ball up, Eagles wins another tap for Duders. Scramble at ground level. Trying to get it forward here are the Burgers, but we have a tackle, umpire crosses his arms, we'll have a ball up, ball's moved about maybe 5-10 metres forward for West Coburg. Eagles want it down again, but they're getting it moving here, West Coburg, handball out from Abdi Fatax. now they're moving forward through Yelland, his kick is to McCowder, Mark was not taken and Duda should be able to clear, no, Mark Taken there by Papua Anu. He goes long using the wind. And he's kicked that from 50 metres, I reckon. That's a fantastic goal from Nicholas Papua Anu. But that's where they should be kicking it at this at this early stage because um, there's no reason why it's not one kick out of the centre. You could, some of these guys, with their kicking ability, could be kicking goals from the centre. It is a long ground, and as you said before, Jambo, it is quite narrow as well, so they've really got to use that corridor as much as they can, just get the ball forward, kick it long, and uh, look for a target up, up in there inside 50 pretty quickly. 2 on 13 plays 1 at 2 8 here at Shaw Reserve. Around the grounds, good start for Keelor. 3 3 21. Airport West have one goal on the board. Aberfeldy have a two goal start on Strathmore as Duders look to go forward here out of the middle. It's Eagles, plenty of space. A hand oh. pass was a bit oh. too cold, he put Mark Lou under a oh. lot of pressure, another handball out, Hicks, he fell over, Clothier Clevy, is going to pick it up, he needs some help, plenty of West Coburg numbers around this ball, good pressure by the Burgers, a ball up in the Duda's hot spot. Did well there to avoid a score, West Coburg, now they've got to get it out, Baravi's being good early, fed the ball out, Makota got brought down oh. by Great Jensen. Too. Wearing number 70 last year, Mitch Jensen. He's been promoted to number 6 this year and he's going to get the free kick and have a shot on a slight angle. It's probably a little stiff on that one without a full possession. Mitch Jensen's had a good couple of years. He was a VFL Premiership player with Footscray in 2014. And then last year, part of Duda's big win over Craigie Burn at Windy Hill. Jensen, slight angle. Sun shining. We've seen one shot from this sort of range today, and the wind's made that very, very hard as he has a shot, and the wind has done the same again. thing. It's forced the ball across the face. A minor score. Duda's 139. West Coburg 2 113. We've played nine minutes. And it'll be Yelland, the new recruit, bring it in. He plays on, takes a couple of steps, just goes long up the middle as you as you should do when you've got such a win advantage. Mark was dropped there by Liam Bokert, the ruckman for the Burgers. Eagles, clever tap there, but it was immediately tackled by Abdul Wahed and Tom Baravi, double teamed. 
and we'll have a ball up about 70 out from the du from Duda's goal. Eagles won it down again. He's been fantastic to start this one. The recruit from Yoronga South Brisbane. Umpire has picked out a free kick and it's going the way of the Burgers. Was that, was that pun intended there, Peps? It might have been. <laughs> of course, Jambo, we can't make any comment on that still. Still waiting to find out when I can make comment on that. It's a fair 50. It's 100. Must be 100. Oh, I suppose it isn't. That's 50. Such a small ground. Kick in from McCowder, and there's the mark taken there by the skipper, Jordan Glowry. And he will have a shot. Looks like he's about 30 metres out. Slight angle. Let's go, go again, Damo. We should hit this one anyway. He really looked for the low with the eyes there, and uh, he's taking a set shot now. That's why it was a brilliant pass from McCowder and Glowry. Oh, no, it swung it's back. just snuck it in. And that's another goal for West Coburg. They're just starting to create a little bit of a buffer here. They're up. What is it? I'm working on the scoreboard there. We can't. They need they need consecutive goals here now. They need they've they've controlled the play there with, with one long kick from from the back line and and now they need to go forward again and get two in a row to put the pressure on to do this. Just three, so one to one, three a is the score. Quick look on the uh, the wind radar, Peps. We've got uh, the, the winds pushing towards the city and it's around 20 to 30 kilometres, so going south. Out of the middle and it's Smith who's just run it all the way to 50. One of the handball went to boot himself. Baravi's going to oh. try and chase this one oh. down. In fact, it's Saad. He did get there in time. Abdul Humid Saad and it's a rush behind in the end for Dudas. 1-4-10 plays 3-1-19. EDFL match of the day. Quick kick in again from West Coburg straight down the line. Fidax couldn't mark. Skaberas went inside 50 quickly, but Drake was there to cut it off for West Coburg. He'll come to this broadcast side. Good kick for Yelland. He'll quickly get it moving. West Coburg want to score in a hurry while they've got the oh. wins. We're only halfway through this opening term, not even that. As Day was beaten to the ball on that occasion by Brand Catasano. Oh, He's going to dribble it home all the way. What a start for West Coburg today. 4-1-19. 4-1-25, in fact, plays 1-4-10. That's just using the ball and knowing the ground. They, it, as I said earlier, it's not an easy ground to play on, but West Coburg have kicked two great goals from knowing where they're kicking from on the ground and got back-to-back -back goals now, so... I'd say it would be a six to eight goal win easily. Jambo, any pressure on the Duda's water boy today to to get it right? Better not give away a free kick. That's all I'm saying. Been inside the fifty. Remember with the Jakarta runner la uh, water boy last year. Yep. As Eagles won that down for oh, Duda's again. See you later. Forward here, Duda stars. Shot from outside, 50 held up in the breeze, but it's good. Bounces through anyway. And that's Patrick Vespremi, the former Sydney Swan and Western Bulldog, putting it through. And Essendon do to stars move to 2-1-13, 2-4-16, sorry, trailing West Coburg 4-1-25. We've gone just over 13 minutes in this first quarter. Killer have kicked five goals already at at uh, Joe Brown Oval. There's another score, Jambo, that I want to sort of run by you here. 8-4-52 East Keelor over Burnside Heights, one straight six. Yeah, that'd be a breeze wherever they're playing. They're playing at Burnside, I think. They are. It's Kobe District's one straight six to Mooney Valley, four straight 24, so five goals straight combined between those two clubs. As Catrolli goes inside 50, McMillan tried to mark. There's a quick snap on goal. This could be another one. For West Coburg, it is. Who kicked it? I think. Zenik? I think it was Bresciano again. Grant Catasano. Close enough. All right, we'll give it to him. It's another goal for West Coburg. 5 1 at 31. These goals are happening too fast for us at the moment. 2 4 16 Essendon due to start. Yeah, shootout at, at uh, Shaw Reserve. But yeah, this breeze, it just makes it so easy. You can kick. You could kick from 65 and it could sail through. It, we're it going, really is that strong. We're going at a goal every two minutes so far. 14 gone, seven goals kicked. And I'd just be interested to see how the team goes when you kick him with it. 
because the wind also plays mind games with people. That's good maths there from the Chief. As Dude is looking to clear, umpires picked out a free. Looks like it will be going the way of Essendon Duda Stars. And they'll look to pump it inside 50 here, you'd think. Short pass cut off well there by Abdi Fatax. And he's going to get it moving into the centre of the ground. Dangerous kick marked, though, by Baravi, who has started very well. He goes down the line, broadcast the wing. That one travelled all the 50. Glary couldn't take the mark. Overrunning it was Hudson. And Duda's get it back. It's Smith. He's got two tacklers to oh, deal with. Up by spots no, a free Day kick. Off the ball. Mitch Slightly Day off the kick. ball. Mitch Day will claim it. What a star he was in the grand final. Oh. Kick was smothered off the boot. And put into the turf was Tommy Baravi. He's going to get the free kick for in the back. That one against Shiloh Smith. Baravi kicked it into Shiloh. Games. Jeez, a lot of mistakes in this passage so far. No one really wants to get boot to ball and just clear the oh, congestion. Come on, umpire. Yet just another free yeah. kick. Come on, just let it. Uh, and he's going to give 50. So the it's gone to his weight. Uh, I'm sorry, but the umpire's been sucked in there. There's Premi is going to be brought to with in scoring range just, you would say. But this is the sort of area where we've had two shots on goal already. Both have been sprayed across the face. But that's where he kicked the last one from on the run. So we'll see how he goes set shot. This is the reason Duda's recruited him. This is for goal number eight of the game already. We're only 16 minutes into it so far. And playing, as, match of the day. and playing as an on-baller, which is also interesting. And he's done the same thing as the previous two set shots yeah. across the face. Maybe... Maybe aim for the left goalpost, Jambo. You'd yeah, think that's rather obvious. I think they're starting it, but it just seems to be going really right, well, late. Aim for the left behind post, maybe. Goal kicking advice there from the Chief as Joseph Drake plays on and kicks too long towards the wing. Good mark. Did well to get rid of his opponent in Clark there, did Dane Lucas. And he's on the edge of the centre square. His handball is back to Drake. Drake's going to kick it long up the boundary line. Eagles flew, as you'd expect, I guess, and couldn't take it. Umpire has given the free. Looks like it's going in the direction of the skipper, Glowry. As you do in the wind, he just kicks it long towards the pocket. That's a great mark. That's taken by Fidax. Abdi F Fidax, as Jambo said there. And he'll have a shot from the pocket just in front of the club rooms here at Shaw Reserve. He's a very good player. He... Uh We've seen him a bit over the last couple of years, and uh, that was a really strong mark. And kick the ball long and direct. That's all you got to do. That's how you do it when you have the wind. He goes with the check side. Oh, he's missed he's everything. Missed, yeah, he has missed everything there. And, well, he would have been looking to do a little bit better there, even though it was a tough shot at goal. Let's wait for the ball to come back. EDFL Web TV's Marcus Calvaresi will take it for Essendon due to start. Play now, on. for some reason, the umpire's told yeah. him to play on. What's that? I think he's gone off his line. He's, he's confused. Turnover and goal for West Coburg. That's going to be paid. Jambo. Uh, I've I got the binoculars on this one. I can't work out what happened there. Yeah, we'll have to go to uh, EDFL video. Match of the Day. EDFL.tv. Uh, there yeah. we go. EDFL.tv and have a look at that one. But he must have come off the line. I'm not sure. And we are in a bad angle here. We can't see down the hill, but our cameraman is in a perfect position. So we'll have a look at that on the replay. I've got my eyes on the goal kicker. I will confirm that. You call the play, Pep. So I'll give you the goal kicker once he gives us a number. Good stuff, Chief. We're just getting Tom the ball. McMillan, the goal kicker. Tom McMillan. There it is. As the ball is thrown up by the umpire, perfect throw, Eagles wins it down again. It's quick soccer off the ground there, only as far as uh, Catrolli there. He got it moving forward, Smith, omnipresent in the EDFL. He's been such a good player, but he's taken over the line and it'll be a throw in. We're about 65, 70 metres out from West Coburg's goal. So throw in on this broadcast side. Third man up was Baravi. He's in early contention for the hoodie, you'd say. He's been quite good so far today, Tom Baravi. Eagles. Makoda made a good tackle on him. Eagles still got his hand pass down the line. And then ducking underneath the tackle and still got a bit of a clip. Did Hicks. Got the free kick. Robbie Hicks goes into the middle of shore reserve. He's got a runner oh. in the corner. But he overran the ball there. Did Kovac. And it's up for grabs. It's at centre half forward for Essendon due to Stars. And it's going to be locked up. Calvin yeah. French says, let me ball it up. Nicky Kovac, that was a bad 
bad, no pressure error right there. You're right there, Jambo. They were they were away there, Duders, if he could have taken that mark. From the ball up, West Cobo got the clearance. Free kick picked out there to Glowry going against Jordan Rogers, who has the job on the skipper. He kicks long. It looks like it'll be chopped off. Oh, it's not. Drop mark there. That was pretty poor. McMillan got a hand to it. Wasn't able to get it moving, though, and we'll have a ball up about 70 metres out from the West Cobo goal, pretty much in front of the club rooms. Good sunshine today. This is as good as an autumn day gets in the northwest of Melbourne. Again, something we spoke about, Jambo and EDFL tonight during the week. We've been very lucky on each Saturday so far this season. We have. It's nice. It's beautiful. It's providing for good football as well. EDFL football is... It's just about as good as it's ever been. As Moen up the wahead approaches from the pack and just oh, gets out of it. His kick though wasn't so great. And Duda's are going to lock this ball up. West Coburg looking very dangerous so far today. Great Their tackle. current lead is 20 points. 6 1 37 plays, 2 5 17. Ball up in the hot spot. It's heading toward the boundary line. Hudson over ran it. There's Premier involved there for Duda's as well. There's a lot of congestion around this ball. Umpire has to sort it out with a ball up. Or a free kick. And he will. Calvin French crosses his arms. It was a great tackle before by Nicky Kovac. He stopped a certain goal there. So it's tight. There's there's 30 players around this ball. That is true, Jambo. As Dudas are able to clear outside 50 there. Hughes wasn't able to take the mark. And ball's out of play. We'll have a throw in right on centre wing. Damo, what do you got for us? Just got a bit of injury news for West Cobo. We've seen Cameron Conlon down on the bench. He was shaking his head as uh, so they were looking at his knee. So he did have a little walk around the, uh, the bench there, but he uh, might be a little injury doubt for the rest of the day. Sounds like early trouble for West Cobo. Ben, and sorry, that's um, injury wise. We've only just taken the time on the opening term as Makota goes toward this broadcast side. Catrolli is not going to keep that in play. That straight boundary line has actually caught a couple out already. We saw Shiloh Smith run out of real estate when normally he would have been able to break clear. Boundary throw in. Sun shining at Shaw Reserve. Eagles got high. I don't think you had to that time. It was a bit of an unrealistic attempt. Mark Anderson's going to run onto this ball for Duders. No. He overran it. Had three defenders to deal with. Did win it back. But he was well on ground there. level the whole oh, time. He's got a free kick holding the ball. Jeez. Been a the few interesting yeah. Duders free kicks so far today. They're going to have this one off half back. That's right, Chief, and it'll be Mark Anderson to take the kick inside the centre square. He plays on, tried to take on his man there in McCowder. Eventually got the kick out towards the outer wing. Eagles got hands to it, wasn't able to complete the mark. Getting, Trying to get involved there. Oh, we have a free that, kick. I'm sorry, that contest there, they've just paid a free kick for the same thing, and then Eagles doesn't get the free kick. So, yeah, it's a bit of a worry at this stage. Ball was long inside 50 there. Hughes wasn't able to take the mark. And he's given away a free kick in the tackle. It'll be going the way of Marwan abdul Wahid. ex Maribyrnong Park player. He's been good. He gets back. He covers a lot of ground. In his usual arm brace as well. Do we have figured out, figured out why he wears that, Jambo? He's worn it for years, Marwan abdul Wahid. Yeah, there might be a bit of tennis elbow there. He might get our Sports Moves Best on Ground hoodie today, and we can just ask him directly as we see a ball up, this time on the outer side. We are at the time on of this third quarter. It might just be a comfort thing that he was wearing that for, just like Alan Iverson in the NBA. Yeah, could well be. That's Damien Peck boundary side today. His dude has come towards centre half forward, and here is the man of the moment, Abdul Wahed. Found a loose teammate on the broadcast wing. That was Catrolli. And look at the red, white, and black just line up here as Yelland was the man getting it inside 50. Well trapped by Hudson. A right foot snap from Robbie Hudson. Is that another goal? No. It was well marked by Clovia, last line of defence. In fact, this is Clovia, who was out to stop the mark, Jambo. It was Clovey's twin brother, and now we're in the middle of the ground. And Shiloh Smith has it. That's right, Chief. He got the got the handball moving forward there. They're about 60 metres out. Duders, we're not able to get a handle on Is that Smith again going in? Yes, it is. He's, oh, the oh. kick there is shanked from, it looked like it was Anderson. Couldn't get a moving. Tackle, uh -huh. or oh, he's almost holding the ball there. He's, oh, oh, he's, he's, he's been given. And he's stopped. Now, nah, come on. Now, now this is, this is... This is ridiculous. That was just after the play. That was that was not in the back. Well, the free kick was paid anyway. Shiloh Smith down at ground level, trying to get it moving forward for Dudas. He had about four or five burgers around him, and there wasn't much he could do. He and wasn't actually being tackled. He was just waiting to handle. 
<laughs> Strange old play that one. Yeah. Baravi has it. He goes to Marlon Abdul Wahid. Still inside the fancy 50 for West Coburg. 24 and a half gone opening term, and the Burgers lead by 20. We've had eight goals already. The scoring has kind of dried up a bit. Did have seven goals kicked in the first 14 minutes as Makoda goes down the line, quite literally, in this very straight centre wing sort of boundary line. Marlon Abdul Wahid receives the handball and the Burgers will go inside 50 again. No mark was taken by Bazenik out the back and it's going to be Day to dribble one. I don't think that was meant to be a dribble, but it's clean ball plenty. It's ended up in the hands of West Coburg. High ball across the face, out of bounds, boundary throw in, out of sight. Was uh, was Mete who kicked the ball long there for West Coburg and it trickled over the boundary line. We'll have a ball in in the in the left forward pocket here for West Coburg. Ball comes in. Ronaldson wasn't able to win it down. In fact, it was Yellen, Yellen third man up for the, for the Burgers. We'll have a we'll have a secondary stoppage. It's about 25 25 meters out from West Coburg goal. Winning it down there, the Burgers, but Duders have sharked it and they're getting it going here through Jensen. Kicks long up the line, but it's going to be chopped off. That's a good defensive mark by Satana Mikata, who has started the oh. game quite well. He's kicking to the centre, put his teammate under a lot of pressure there. They're trying to get it forward, but that's good work there by Robert Hicks. They're running in space now, Duders. His pass marked there by Mark Anderson on the left half forward flank. He goes long. He was looking for Hughes, but the kick was off target. Jensen was running inside 50 though fortunately good job there by Watterson to come off his man and tackle the free Essendon Duda star player that was well umpired there he ducked his head he played for the free kick and the umpire let it go that's what the umpires need to do we hear from Damo in a moment umpire throws it up in the right forward pocket it's sharked here by Prestia that's a high Shot. ball and Smith takes the mark in the left forward pocket shot on goal coming up for Duders. Just saw Barabi come off a moment ago. He's absolutely spent. He's run his guts out and he's just got a well-earned break with his uh, nice little drink bottle there. Duders are finding a lot of loose numbers across half forward today. That could be a problem in the second term when they have the breezes. Shiloh Smith kicks through that one beautifully. And Essendon do the stars at get one back. 3-5-23 plays at 6-1-37 on this round at 6 edition of EDFL Match of the Day. He just read that ball so well, getting to the front, able to take an easy chest mark and going back and kicking the goal. So he's uh, he's resting forward, but he's just now going back on the ball with only... How long have we played? We're 27 and a half minutes. Around the grounds, it's Hillside by a point, 23 to 22. Oak Park are trailing Northern Saints by two points. We need a score from Hadfield and Craigie Burn if anyone's listening at... Each of those two nests in Strathmore Community Bank Division 2. Big lead for East Keelor. The Valley a couple of goals ahead of Coburg Districts. Only a two-point lead for East Sunbury over Rochbrook Park. Good throw. He's paid it. Good good umpiring. He saw the throw. I saw the throw. He was in the right position there. That's right. It's a West Coburg free kick to Mohamed Saad here on halfback. He got the handball oh, out, out to Fiddix. And that is going to be out on the full, Jambo. The straight boundary line perhaps giving that extra space to go out go out on the fall making it more difficult to keep it in but doesn't matter it's free kick going the way of do to stars down the line they go and Eagles is just going to watch that one go over his head Makota took an easy mark in the end Abdul Humid Saad had it sent half back went straight down the line Hudson was never allowed much of a look at the ball Bazenic got on the end of it went bang from beyond 50 a big goal for Danko Bazenic he gets on the board for the first time today, and West Coburg moved to 7-1-43. Essendon do the stars at 3-5-23. That's a great kick for goal, and as we spoke about the advantage of the wind, and they're just keeping their forward line open. The, their on-ballers and half-forwards are just spreading wide, leaving it open for the 1-2 and two down in the uh, West Coburg inside 50. We have live scores from three of our other Strathmore Community Bank Premier Division games. Everyone's at Canning Reserve. Let us know what's happening there. No scores just yet. Aberfeldy, 5-1-31. Strathmore, 3-1-19. Two-goal lead for Abbas. Keelor doing it pretty easily against Airport West so far today. Marby, 2-3-15. Lead Greenvale, 1-3-9. Low-scoring affair at Monk Reserve. Monk Oval. That's right, Chief. And neither Ruckman's able to win it. 
down out of the bounds here. Smith got the clearing kick for Dude is moving forward. Is that a mark taken there? No, it wasn't. The one-handed attempt there from Mark Anderson, but he couldn't complete it. And it's a stoppage here on the 50-meter arc for Essendon Duda Stars. Ball up, Eagles. Look like he won that one down again. He's been winning almost everything in the air today. Bit of a scramble at ground level. Hey. Calls for ball from the home crowd. And they kind of get it, but it's going against their team. Oh, it looks like that was in front of the Duda's contingent, actually. <laughs> that, that would be why. <laughs> Kicks gone inside 50. Hold oh, up, please, oh. Hughes! Got it. Was able to get a hand to it. But he couldn't complete it, and West Coburg should be able to clear here, Chief. See how they flooded back there. They've, they've just got numbers everywhere, but now they're just messing around with it a bit. Baravi did well not to concede it behind, and they will work this out, West Coburg. Very well done on the last line of defence. Kick comes toward the wing. McMillan just had it and lost it for a moment up by oh, far the free he's kick. He's paid it the opposite way. Hudson is going to claim it. Robbie Hudson. Now let's see their spread, West Coburg. Just crucial the player in their premiership year two years ago, Damo. Do the stars are dropping one back there, so yeah, they're taking the mark easily right now. They may just read that one beautifully there. Clark took the mark and came off his line and got tackled. Umpire said there was no play on call, so 50 against McMillan. Well, that should bring him inside 50. We'll see where this one did. Jambo, it's a very small ground from wing to wing, but from goalpost, or from goal square to goal square, is actually quite a long ground. There is a decent gap between the centre square and the 50 metre line. Here, so What's happening now? Oh, a free, uh, free kick at the top of the square for Dudas. This ball's going to come 50 metres downfield. I think Eagles is going to be the man nah, to Cal claim it. Calvaresi. All right, Calvaresi is going to claim it. Going against Mohamed Saad for holding off the ball, the umpires. They've been hot on this day, the yeah, umpires. They're, they're a bit... They're, yeah, Asserting their influence early. Yes, and we don't want them to influence the game. We if it's there, Jambo, if it is there... Got to pay it. Yeah, but Marcus Calvaresi comes in. And holding and scragging doesn't count for a downfield free kick goal. A left foot poke is good for Marcus Calvaresi. Goal number four for Essendon due to stars. 4 5 29 plays 7 1 43 on EDFL match of the day. You the umpire is still talking to him, too. I have to wonder a little bit is this three goal, or not even three goals now? It's, um, it's only 14 points, but is that enough from West Coburg from the first quarter? Yeah, I'll I'll just died down. It has at the moment, yes, it has. Although, uh, due to Stars would be very happy to be only down by 14 points given the strength of the breeze at the beginning of the game. Just I think, picking up now. Yeah, <laughs> it, is, it is just picking, now, picking up now. That's right, Damo. As in the centre of the ground, neither Ruckman was able to get a hand to it. Smith, good handball there. The kick forward from Rogers held up in the breeze. Miles will be first to the ball there. His handball is backwards towards Clothier, who's easy to spot with the bun. His kick, Ronaldson couldn't get to it. And the defensive mark is taken there by Satana McCowder. He, he paid the free kick there for a push. Oh, it wasn't a free kick, it was a mark. Beyond 30, in fact, we're nearly into the 34th minute of this opening term. The clock's still ticking. We've had a lot of goals. We have. Nearly 33 have ticked by. Down the line go West Coburg off the boot of Dane Lucas. That carried a long way. Clark was on the end of it. And at some point it went out of bounds, I think, or is it... It is out of bounds. Okay. Ball's a long way from where it needs to be. So the umpire's going to bring it back. Just forward a centre wing here for West Coburg. They've had a good opening turn. Craigie Burn, three goals, 5-23 versus Glenroy, 3-1-19 at quarter time. Thank you, Jambo. Throw in on this outer side. Quick clearance for Baravi. Goes high to the square for West Coburg. Comes off hands for Zenik. He can claim it in a pretty dangerous area, but he's got some defenders to work around. Hair pass tries to find a support option. Fidax now has it. Right boot. Probably should have, probably should have been left boot, and it just trivels in toward the square. Clark was there for Essen and the Stars. Eagles, and now I think that's Skibera is going to go down the line, and they're out of danger, Dudas. That's right, Chief. It's Miles going in. Oh, it's Jensen. Oh, he was just able to get rid of it. That was a great chase down there by, by Steve Mete. But he was able to get the handball away and it'll just be a ball up on the edge of the centre square on the far wing. Neither Ruck were able to get it down. Looks like they were holding each other a bit. Ends up with Baravi. He's tackled immediately. He got it out. Oh, it's, it was, it, he threw it actually. That's probably why he was able to get it out. And the free kick will be going the way of Essendon Duda Stars. Calvaresi was the man that went down the line. That's actually well marked in the end. 
Who is that for West Coburg? That is Kelly. Very and soft side. Yep. You won't believe me if I tell you, but just take my word for it. That was the quarter time siren. That was probably the strangest quarter I've seen for the entire year so far. It is quarter time. 7 1 43 West Coburg. Essendon Duta Stars. 4 5 29 after one quarter of play. Good stuff there, Damo. And they will be kicking against the win this quarter, West Coburg. So it'll be interesting to see how they adjust to that. As we're underway, Eagles got a hand to it, but Bokert got the handball. He's opposing Ruckman there. Got, the, got it out to Jack Yellen, the recruit. He's handball to Fidex. He's tackled immediately. Abdul Wayed running backwards with it. He tried to get a handball away, but it was intercepted there. Looked like it was Mark Lou who got it. Flying shot on goal. It's missed there. And Essendon do to stars move to 4 6 30. It's a 13 point lead for the Burgers. We are just past 30 seconds gone in this second quarter. Be Damo? interesting to see the game style this quarter, whether it just completely switches and reverses from both sides and how they're going to use that breeze. That's right, Damien. It was a very fast moving game in that first quarter. Quite difficult to call, but who am I to complain? Anyway, we're back in play here. West Cobo getting it moving up the far wing. Mark not taken there by McMillan. It was roved well though, and the centering kick, although it's dangerous, he's met there. Little bit of a hit there. Miles was able to pick up the ball. He got a handball out to Eagles. Eagles tried to check side in the center square, which is quite interesting. Wasn't able to make much of it. And now they're moving forward through McMillan, uh, through McMillan here, West Coburg. Bit of a collision at half forward. It's and a great wrap up. We'll have a ball up. That was a very good tackle there by Mohamed Saad. We're about 75 metres out from West Coburg's goal. We'll hear from Jambo soon. Jambo, you were in the huddle, weren't you? Yes, I went We'll Jambo. hear from you soon as Calvaresi feeds the ball out to Kovac. She goes down the line. So Duda's now getting use of this breeze. Second term underway. Strong breeze toward the city end, the southern end. That's sure reserve today. It's at half forward. West Coburg ball as we speak. Well picked up. Down the line, go West Coburg. It's a wobbler toward half forward. It bounced nicely for Bazenic. Hand pass We're to Fidax. And Fidax will go for Hudson. It's going to hold up. He's up against Day. Hudson did well to have the ball fall his way. Then dribbled through. A goal for West Coburg. Robbie Hudson oh, is down. having an impact. Jambo. Fidax is down. That's happened behind the play. Fidax was involved in that passage. You're right, Jambo. He's down. He's and he looks like he's in a lot of pain. Damian Peck is going to be all over that. But for the time being, the goal has been registered. 8-1. I, I think he may have done an E. 8-1. They've called for the stretcher. 49 are uh, West Coburg. That's the first score of the second term. Or was there a point for Dudas as well there, Jambo? There was a point there, Jambo. 4-6-30 are uh, Essendon Dudas Stars. We're going to have a break in play. Could be a bit So that goal has been registered for West Coburg, correct? Correct, yes. That's right. So yeah. the margin the is 19 points now. Damien Peck and Jambo, you can... Explain to the listeners what's happening. Unfortunately, there is a stretcher. I think he's done a leg, a knee. It could be an ankle, but it doesn't look good. He's The trainers are straight out to him. and They've, they've got him on his side, got the leg out, but he's in a lot of pain, and, and there the stretcher is out on the ground. So and He is a star. This is, is a star. This is, uh, and you mentioned, Damo, some injury concerns for West Coburg already in this game. Yeah, we did see Conlon off earlier, uh, so they might be down to two on the bench. I'll double-check on the Conlon injury, but uh, yeah, that's a big loss for oh, no, West he's Coburg. Up, he's up and... He is walking off, but uh, yeah, he was quite influential in that first quarter. He might have copped a stinger. Well, that is a good sign for the Burgers, Abby Fiddick's able to but stand up and support himself. if the stretcher does come out, isn't he supposed to leave on the stretcher? Do we not go by the AFL rules? Not too sure about that one, Jambo. Either way, it is encouraging signs if you're a West Coburg fan to see Abdi Fiddix walk off supporting himself. But he is sore. But that, that left leg is sore. He, yeah, he could be in doubt the rest of the game. Certainly Jambo. Well, we're back in the middle now after that goal to West Coburg. Eagles won it down, got it straight to Smith. Good service there from the Ruckman. He handballed it out. Was able to get it moving forward there was Eagles. Jake Miles wasn't able to pick it up but it ended up with Clother. He's handballed inside 50. That is a 
very strong tackle there from the Essendon Duda Stars player. Can't quite make out who it was. Looked like it was Mark Anderson. And it's a ball up inside 50 for Dudas. They're trying to win the clearance here. It ends up with Clothier. His kick a kind of across the ground, but inside 50. It's going to be picked up there by Abdul Hamid Saad. And they're going to try and clear now the Burgers. Kick up the wing. That's a good mark taken there by the other Anderson. Anderson of the Jamie variety. And he'll look to get Dudas moving forward. Pretty quiet, I think, Jambo on the opening term as he goes long inside 50. It went over a couple of heads out the back. A quick snap from Jensen. Probably needed some elevation there to do any real damage. It does end up, it does end up being a minor score. 4 7 31. Is that correct? That's right, Chief. Plays 8 1 49. EDFL match of the day at Shaw Reserve. Our first look at West Coburg. Nessendon Duta Stars. But Jamie Anderson is just a true. He doesn't get a lot of the ball, but one-on-one -on -one contests he's rarely beaten. All around the ground scores uh, up on our Facebook and Twitter pages at EDFL Footy. Tell us where you are listening EDFL Match of the Day from today. We do go global, Jambo. Made of yours in Colorado this week, was it? Yes. Listening to EDFL tonight. I do, do suspect you might be making some of these up, but... Uh, We'll digress for the time being. It's on the broadcast wing up high spots are holding the ball free kick. It'll go Duda's way. There's a bit of afters there as well, but Miles will claim it. Jambo, so do we. I know you've got mates all over the world, so I oh, know you're not um, not lying about that. As Mosad picks it off for West Coburg. And he goes to Baravi. That's right, Chief, and Baravi has it just inside the centre square. He's in the centre of the ground. He's going to come out to the broadcast side now and make our job easier we appreciate that mark is taken there it's moving forward there it was it was brancatisano getting the ball moving forward jamie anderson that man again will mop up there's no coburg players his kick oh. kick is off target his his teammate had time there in first premi but he didn't have enough of it and the centering kick there from west coburg no mark taken it's a bit of a scramble at ground level anderson ends up with it again and he kicks it out on the full much to the delight of the West Cobo crowd here at Shaw Reserve. It's not a bad one today here either, enjoying the sunshine. Um, yeah, Mid-May day. Beers on the hill. William Bowcat has it for West Coburg. He is looking into the sun though. It's in that right half forward flank. He just floats one into the pocket and Talianis got a hand on it. And now Smith has to get around one. A bit of high contact from Glary. The two captains there collided. Dudas do get it straight into war there. Half forward area. That ball went 70 without much effort at all. Boundary throw in left half forward for Essendon Duda Stars. We saw a little bit of a on the run barrel there it looked like. As Dudas were clearing it there. It's what we like to see when the wind is going your way. Sorry, we've got to have a, we've got a live score now from Kilo Park. 128 Kilo Park. Jakarta 2-6-18. Good stuff, Chief. As the ball comes in, Baravi went third man up for the Burgers. Looked like Abdul Warid got the handball moving forward and then attacking up the far sideline here. Kick towards 50. Wasn't marked there by Mitch Day. They're moving forward again, West Coburg. Centering Great kick. kick. Debri Controlli oh. there. Couldn't get a hand to it. Well done by Eagles to save a goal, but it doesn't matter because Danko Bzenic puts his second of the day through. And with just over eight minutes gone in this second quarter, West Coburg lead it 9-1-55 to 4-7-31. Wow, that was a great goal, just the forward pressure. They, they're just, the, the way they're playing with their zone, their spread, they, they're pushing forward. And yeah, Dudas just can't match it at this stage. That's right, Jambo. It was a great effort from Eagles to prevent that first goal there for Controlli, but but weight of numbers just proving too much there for the Burgers in the end. And they were able to get the goal. Damo? Bit of uh, injury news just down on the West Coburg bench. We did see Bjerks come off with his left knee. It was getting taped up, so he looks like he might be ready to come back on pretty soon. But he is walking around, wincing in some serious pain. But he did get a high five from uh, a kid on the boundary to make him feel better. Nakota sends West Coburg forward again. Marcus Calvaresi back with the flight. Took a nice mark at halfback for Essendon due to Stars. Left football down the line. It was too hot for Shiloh Smith. He will get the ball though at the uh, on the rebound. He went for Mark Anderson. He sort of tripped over something. 
Out of play it goes. We did also see Cameron Conlon down there with his right knee. It was iced up, so I reckon he might be done for the day. He hasn't put on his jacket yet, so there's still potential that it could come back out, but he's not moving at all. Plenty of work for Damo so far today. He's had plenty of injuries to keep track of, especially on this West Coburg side of the ground now. There's a bit of a hold-up. Judas have got one down. Or is it... I can't yep. see I the there, there are trainers attending it, to somebody. Is it... I, I can't actually... I, I think it might be a West Coburg player. It's a Duda's player, Jambo. Is I can it? see the white shorts, oh, and yeah, he's holding his left knee. Might have been... Was it Mark Anderson? Yeah. Stretcher has come out, and there was a bit of an issue on the... Mark Anderson is correct, right. Jambo. It's definitely Mark Anderson. The West Coburg bench a moment ago with the stretcher. They were unhappy that it got called out for Fitax, so it uh, didn't look like you know the umpires... They might have just called it a little too soon. So again, we have another stop in at play. Well, ten minutes have ticked by, and that gives us, I guess, plenty of time just to digest what's happened so far today. West Coburg look very, very good. They do, and that's why the position on the ladder, that's where they are. And they're, they're playing a, a game plan under Digby. They all know their roles. They know what they're doing. They're accountable. They're spread. They're running. They're two-way running. It's just, yeah, it's, it's just... Um, showing Dudas how to play. The injury news is only getting worse, guys. News coming out of Lebanon, or sorry, at uh, Clifton Park. Aberfeldy v Strathmore. Um, it appears as though Dale May has been stretched off oh. for Strathmore. Thanks to the anonymous, anonymous source that has uh, sent that to us. I actually don't know who that was, Jambo. So. And there's the Claw, whose last game here, he kicked 15. Back live. That's right, Chief. As the ball comes back into play, umpire has picked out a free, actually, and it is going the way of West Coburg here, just inside the centre square on that far side of the ground. He's just assessing his options here. He goes inboard. It's a risky kick, but it comes off. It's marked by Joseph Drake, who has provided a little bit of rebound off half-back today for the Burgers. He swings onto that right foot. He kicks long towards 50. Eagles is there. Had the aerial ascendancy. And he's going to win Another a Another Dudas player down in the middle. Who's that one? Jambo. It's Robbie Hicks, I think. Robbie that, Hicks. Is, that is Robbie Hicks. Uh, he's up and about now. Some taper in that left knee, Jambo. Is that an ongoing issue for him? Uh, it's a long term issue, I think. Eagles has it, centre half back. This has been a real stagnated second term so far. This is a strange game of football as that ball goes all of 70 off the boot of Eagles. It's at half forward for Dudas, but this is where they're getting unstuck. West Coburg winning a lot of the ground balls so far today. And look at this setup so far. They've got it to centre wing all by hand. Control is going to get it now. Hand pass in board to Yellens. Back to Control. He's under a fair bit of pressure. That kick was rushed, but plenty of teammates on the broadcast wing. Mark taken by Makota. His kick straight into the mound on the mark. Calvaresi did well to claim it back. Got it to Eagles. He's under a lot of pressure. Then got put down and got called for holding the ball. West Coburg want to play on. Not sure about that call. Now it's going to come back. Probably common sense prevailing there. And it's a West Coburg ball for Jordan Glowry. Oh, they look like they were going to go on with it, but the umpire pretty lenient there. Glowry's kick inside 50. That's a good mark taken there by Nicky Kovac. Inside defensive 50, right in front oh. of our contrary position. Actually, his kick across goal was dangerous. Oh, they've paid the deliberate behind Simon oh. Clark. Well, well, we don't see that too often. Oh, <laughs> oh and that's a hard breaker. Danko Bzenic is going to put through his third. And he's got a bit to say to Clark afterwards. No, all clear given. No, he's, he's not giving it to him. He's, it's, it's going to Miller. <laughs> well, McMillan puts it through. Jambo, this is the strangest match of the day I've had in quite some time so far. Yeah. Um, and that includes a, a head count last year at Lebanon Reserve. Was that... But technically, there was a West Coburg player within two metres of him. I... Yeah, I don't understand. I, I mean, I'd understand if that was being paid at AFL level because the umpires get influenced, but that, that was a strange call. 10... 10-161 West Coburg, Essen and Duda stars 4-7-31. This one's starting to get out of hand for Dudas. Yep, it is, and it's the work rate of West Coburg. They're and, just playing yep. the ground so well. And this is all happening into the win. By the way, a big thank you to EDFL board member Tanya Taylor for giving us that news about Dale May. 
being stretched off at Clifton Park. There's a lot happening around EDFL today, especially a week before interleague Jambo. Very interesting indeed as McMillan gets another clearance for West Coburg. Inside 50. Overran by Jamie Allen. Under a fair bit of pressure now, perhaps had his jumper pulled as well did Mate. That was a jumper pull against Essen and the Stars. They'll get the free kick for holding the man. It's going to be Intellianus. That's right. Intellianus has it about 35 out from his own goal. He's just going to kick it long and hope the Breeze can get it out of there as far as possible. But it's coming straight back. It was marked there by Brancatisano. He goes into the middle of the ground, is able to find McMillan, the last goal kicker there. He comes out wide in front of our country position. West Coburg players taken down behind play there by Eagles. He ended up with the ball. And now, due to Stars, should be able to get him moving forward. It's Shiloh Smith, who's been terrific today. Kick towards half forward is marked there by Cleve Hughes. And he goes short. That was okay. The mark is taken by Jensen, but he's pretty much in the canteen, Jambo. You can order a hot dog if you want. Yes. We can't actually see him. That's how deep he is in the pocket. If you're watching this on EDFL.TV, you've got a perfect angle of this, but we can't see anything right now. Jensen now comes in, right foot ball. How good's that off the boot? That's it's beautiful. Much needed goal for Essendon Duda Stars. 5 7 37 plays, 10 1 61 on EDFL match of the day. 15 and a half gone, second term. Quarter time score from the late game at Keelor Park. 1 2 8 Keelor Park, Jakarta. 3 7 25. Good start for the Jags, who must win today if they're going to make it back to the finals. Well, they needed that goal there, Duders. So we're just ticking towards 16 minutes in this second quarter, and they haven't really, haven't really used the advantage presented to them by the Breeze. So that is a very important goal to get back to within an even four straight kicks. As we're back in the centre now, the tap there, Ronaldson wasn't able to win it down for Duders. Looked like it was a uh, free kick. Is it? No, no. Secondary ball up. Third man up there for West Coburg, won it down. Flying through there was McCowder, trying to get the ball moving his team's way, but he wasn't able to. It ends up in the hands of Glowry anyway. He gets it out to Abdul Wade, and they're getting it forward here, West Coburg. Dribbling one inside 50, Catrolli oh. found the voice in Deco Bezenic! Another goal for West Coburg! A dagger in the half for Essen and the Stars. He worked so hard to get a goal moments ago. And it's been taken straight back off and by Danko Bezenic, who has now got three goals in this game of football. That was a great play, just his run. He just kept running and running and running and eventually got it and just put it straight through. The and how about their accuracy? 11-1, 67 West Coburg, Essendon due to Stars, 5-7, 37 on EDFL match of the day. You don't see that too often when there's round, such a strong breeze. Around the grounds, Pasco Vale out to a big lead. It's 5-3, to 1-8, 14. That's over Avondale Heights. Aberfeldy have the half ton, 8-2-50. Strathmore, 4-3-27. Strathmore can still win the flag, Jambo. They can. Not today. Oh, dude is getting it forward there, winning the race to the ball. There was Brancatisano, who has been quite good today. They're getting the ball moving forward here. West Cobra kick flew over the head of McCowder. And it's Jamie Anderson seeing it over the line for Duders. Keelor doing a number on Airport West. It's nearly already 100 points. 17-11-113 Keelor. Airport West 2-2-14. Maribyrnong Park 4-5-29. Greenvale 1-5-11. All thanks to EDFL team up. That's right, Chief. West Coburg win the clearance here through McCowder. He was held without it. Oh, no, he was given holding the ball, actually. And it's going the way of Peter and Talanis on half back. For Duders right in front of our commentary position. Goes down the line. We'll hear from Damien Peck soon. That's a good kick. Mark taken. Who's that for Duders? That's Jay Cops. He moves it on. Up towards centre half. Forward. Jensen. Lead came from Jensen. He's Go back and kick the goal. been one bright spark so far today. He's gone into the pocket. That was a strange decision, Jambo, when the breeze is doing what it is today. He's gone and found Mark Lou. He can have the shot for us and do the stars. Right in front of a scoreboard that has Duders down by five straight kicks as we speak. Damo. Uh, you can probably scratch out number 11, Mark Anderson, for the rest of the day. Mm. His uh, left knee was being iced up. They had towels underneath um, in some serious pain. It could be, uh, I think that's an ACL or a PCL behind the knee. And, uh, yeah, he's probably going to take no part in the rest of today. So three down, oh, sorry, one down on the bench and uh, left of three subs for the Duda Stars. Mark Lewis kicked the goal for Essendon Duda Stars, a good one in the pocket, so it is now 6-7-43, playing 11-1-67. That is horrible news for Mark Anderson. 
Yeah, he came into the game with a bit of a dodgy ankle as well. So Could that have had an impact? No, I don't think so. But um, it just was, yeah, I mean, we couldn't really see it. But it just, again, looked like nothing. And like Fidax, he looked like, you know, there was no one around him. But just how easily your knees can go, it's just really sad. Craigieburn, Hillside, Oak Park, West Meadows, all leading their Essendon 4 Division 1 games relatively comfortably today. Good stuff, Chief, keeping an eye on the EDFL for us today. Bokert was able to win it down in the centre for West Coburg. Ended up in the hands of McCowder, who's had a lot of it in this second term. Baravi kind of did a figure eight oh. with the ball behind his back there. Ended up back in the hands of Bokert. His kick is inside 50. That's a... No, Mark oh. not paid there oh. to Danko Zenich. Oh. Oh, Abdi Katroli, sorry it was. Scramble here at ground level. Calls for holding there's, the ball. It's going to be paid. The, there's the payback. That's the payback. It's going to be paid, and there it is, Rory Cleary, son of Phil. <laughs> That's the payback for not paying the mark. That's right, well, Catrolli did have a big piece of it. I was surprised the mark wasn't paid. Yeah, no, that was a mark every day of the week. But there's the square up, and it'll be Cleary to come in. Hasn't kicked a goal today. He does have 12 for the season so far. He comes in, and... Right. He's put that through. That, that's a great kick. We've seen a lot of set shots on this side of the ground. Missed to the right, but he's adjusted well. And West Coburg move out to 12-1-73, leading Essendon Duda Stars 6-7-43 as we've just ticked into time on in this second quarter. That was a great kick. And, yeah, they're, they're just working harder, West Coburg. They're just they run and spread and and willing to go in and get the contested ball when, when Duda's are just, you know, sort of hanging back and and it's evident via the scoreboard. That's right, Jambos, we're back in the middle. Bokert won it down, but it's ended up in the hands there of Pressier, it looked like. Oh, Pressier has it now, actually. He gets the ball moving out. Mark Lou kicked 10 last week. Is it half back? Unfamiliar territory. And the ball looks like it's over the line for a throw in. Now to side, we're into time on second term on EFL match of the day. A five goal lead for West Coburg over Essendon Duda Stars. The two clubs most recently promoted into Strathmore Community Bank Premier Division. It's been a while since I've actually met at this particular level. By that I mean in the open age level as the ball's just hovering around half forward here. A quick kick inside 50 came off the boot of Calvaresi. Smith overran it there for Dudas. And we have a ball up, not far away from their goal square. It's in that hot spot. Umpire throws it up now. And the ruck there was Clothia. Quick snap at goal for Miles. That's not even going to get the distance. And Jensen is going to try and keep it in play. Saad just tapped it over the line. It ends up being a rush behind for Essendon and Duda Star. 6 8 44, plays 12 1 73. Well, I don't think you're going to see too many shots fall short of the distance at that, on that side of the ground today, Chief. But that was uh, that one did. So we're just waiting for the ball to be retrieved here for the kick-in. And it looks like it's going to be Yelland for the Burgers. He plays on to himself, runs about 10 metres, kicks a little bit of a mongrel up the field, but it's on the outer side here. Handball, miss a target there by Scaberis. He followed up his own work. It ends up in the hands of West Coburg now. There's a good handball by McMillan. And Danko Zanich is going to be pushed over the line. But they've been able to work it up to about 70, 80 metres out from their goal, West Coburg. So they've done quite well going against the wind. Uh, umpire, umpire spots a free kick off the ball. There's been a fair bit sort of happening behind the play here and the umpire has actually given a free kick to Jordan oh, Rogers. There was nothing in it. Yeah, it's, it's actually been going on for about 10 minutes yeah. or so, that just personal battle there between Rogers and I think Hudson. Rogers went down the line. Zenith, now the back, Shiloh's claiming it, but the umpire, I reckon, has found a free kick or a mark for Duda's either way. He's actually given it to Shiloh Smith. Just beyond 50. Now the wind might let this one just uh, sail very close toward the goal line. It's gone over the back. Another minor score for Essendon due to stars. They can't afford behinds. They need goals. 6 9 45 plays 12 1 73. Just got the uh, the weather update again, Peps. Uh, Good stuff, Damo. Nice 21 degree day. It's, uh, it's pretty nice out here, actually, even with that breeze. It's um, coming from the north around 20 kilometres an hour. So. You're looking very comfortable at ground level there, Damo, in your sports moves polo top there. As 
West Coburg have the ball here on the wing for a free kick. They're getting it moving forward. And it's Cleary, the last goal kicker, who takes the mark. His kick towards half forward is marked by Danko Bzanic. He's looking in board. He wants to pass it off to a teammate. He kicks it now kick. in the direction of Controlli. Oh, Mitch Day is able to get a hand to it, but they haven't cleared it yet through to Stars. And in the end, I'll probably be happy. Deliberate? Was that deliberate? Yeah, I saw the same thing as you, Jambo. That was through the legs of Mitch Day. Yeah, no, that was just a contest there, but... Yeah, that, that bamboos a bit up. Tell me about the sort of, sort of summer that Mitch Day's had, Jambo. He looks a bit more... Uh, he's bulked up a little He's bit. bulked up a fair bit from last I remember in a lesson in four Division One Grand Final. Quick shot on goal here for West Coburg after a turnover. Jamie Owen got a hand on it. Jamie Anderson. Anderson, apologies, another minor score. That's two in a minute for West Coburg. And they go to 12 3, 75. It's a 6 9 45. It's Mitch Day to kick in, the man who has bulked up over the summer, according to the Chief in Jambo. Spit of a scramble here at halfback for Duders. It ends up in the hands of Zenich. He's keeping it in play. They've kept it in play well here, Kobe. They've got it deep inside their forward pocket. Jamie Anderson did well to get away from a couple of forwards. They're playing with it here. They just need to kick the ball out. They're handballing. It's still in play. Up and under kick. Won't be 15. Eagles is able to punch it out. They're moving it forward now. Duders have finally got it outside defensive 50. Slapped back forward there by Abdul Hamid Saad. It ends up in the hands of Mohamed Saad. He's tackled, holding the ball. And now Duders should be able to get it moving forward with the West, breeze. And West Coburg are just taking the game on. They're just running and taking the game on. They were out there if he got through. Hobbs toward half forward, wanted Skibiras, couldn't take the mark, then overran the ball, it's up for grabs, right half forward for Duda's umpire says it's a free kick for West Coburg in there. And spot on there Jambo, I mean West Coburg don't really have an option, they have to run the ball up against the breeze. 12-3-75, play 6-9-45, five straight kicks in this one. As Makota gets up, he'll claim his kick for West Coburg, he wants to switch. That's okay, there was plenty of time. So run onto it there for McMillan. Took a bounce, as casual as you like, and then went in toward the middle of the ground. Aaron Kelly took the mark. Centre half forward, here he goes. Good little chipper for Robbie Hudson. They've just got so much space. Like, they're, they're five metres clear. Hudson wants to come to this broadcast side. Moen Abdul Wahed, he's in behind Skaberas. Oh. Got rid of Skaberas and came oh. off hands. Calvaresi at the fall, and then Presti at the clearance. In toward the middle of the ground. It's coming back. Makota marked it for West Coburg. And it is Chief. Makota took a bounce, ran about 40 metres, kicked it long. Wasn't able to take a mark there. Was Cleary, and the ball will trickle over the line. Bit of a line. tussle right in front of us here. There is a bit. It's Moen Abdul Wahed and Nathan Oh, Skibera's what a surprise. Nathan Skibera is getting stuck into a couple of opponents. Huge surprise there. Ball oh. comes back into play. We're about 15, 20 metres out from the Burgers goal. Great tackle there on Vakar there. Right. Why from is Hadfield. That, why is that not holding the ball? They've paid everything else today. Why was that not holding the ball? That was a great tackle. Boundary throw in inside 50. Eagles got an uncontested run at it. Now Smith tackled as he got his hand pass out. Did well in the end. Clearance for Duders. Up to half Full with the breeze. Drake got a hand on it. It's all West Coburg out the back though. Who with Sard gets the hand pass over the top. And now McMillan's going to clear down the line. And Mosard. Takes the mark right in front of Dean Wallace, who must be a pretty concerned man at the moment. Out of sight here. If West Coburg can get another one, 28 minutes of tick by in this second quarter. If they get another one, it'll be a six-goal lead, and they've got the breeze in the third quarter. Duders have had a very, very disappointing day so far as we go inside 50. Quick oh, snap oh. on goal is a point. Fabian Brank Catasano, he kicked two in the opening term, couldn't register one on that occasion. 12 4 76, play 6 9 45. Just looks like Abdi Fiddix is back on the field. He's had that left knee strapped up. He's right in front of us, so that's good to see. It'll be Mitch Day to kick in to the jeers of the West Coburg faithful who have found voice in this second quarter with their team playing very well. Abdul Waid was able to get a kick away, but the mark is taken there by Peter Intolanis, and it'll be Clothier to clear. Goes down the line. Jensen had the ball go over his head. Hand pass to Eagles. Nothing ahead of him. Had to get around a couple of tacklers. Did well, Eagles. Now he needs to get rid of it. Oh, he's just selling Plenty of prior opportunity. Lucky no one caught him. And now a little chipper kick forward from Hughes. That didn't go far at all. It's picked up by Drake. 
He's going to go short. Fidax back on the ground. Good to see. Took the mark. Gave off the handball. West Coburg have been good on the rebound so far today. Yelland under a fair bit of pressure. Clivier claiming, came and claimed him. Free kick for us and do the stars. And it's Jed Clivier, the ex-Northern Saint. That's right, Chief. Clothier goes long inside 50. West Coburg had the extra man, but he wasn't able to affect the contest. And Mark taken there. Oh. Plays on. And it's that man who's come back onto the ground, Abdi Fidix, who chops off a potential scoring opportunity for Duders. And they look like they're going to clear now the Burgers. It's in balls in the hands of the skipper, Glowry, and he's on the edge of the centre square. They're just, they're just working harder. Like, Eagles had nowhere to kick to because all the Duders had pushed up the ground. But no one was running back to get down. But that's where West Coburg are running. The two-way running that West Coburg are doing is just it's just blowing Duders away. They lead by 31 points. Half-time siren isn't too far away. We won't hear it. We'll just have to wait for the umpires to actually put their arms up and say yeah, the siren did go because we can't hear it from where we are. We're in the left full pocket and the balustrade end of the ground. It's got all the way to centre wing and then it's gone out of bounds in front of the Duda's bench. Boundary throw in. Glorious sunshine as we've had all seven match days so far, including Good Friday so far this season. During the week, Jambo, training nights have been absolutely horrible. Even some Sundays for the juniors have been terrible, but we've been quite lucky in the seniors so far. That's right, Chief. It's a boundary rider's delight, isn't it, Damo? Anyway, we're here on the contest. Abdi Fidix went third up for the Burgers. Bit of a scramble at ground level. Quick kick moving forward there. Not 15 was a call from the umpire. Could have been a mark there to Brancatasano, but umpire called play on. Duda's trying to get the ball forward now. He's picked up there by, who's that? Lucas for West Coburg. Shiloh Smith going to end up with a heo. He overran it. And Mohamed Saad also overran it. A bit of a comedy of errors at the moment, but it looked like Duders have some possession. Although that's missed the target, that handball there. Big tackle there by Abdul Waid. Hey, too high. And it was a bit high, and we probably needed that to... Uh, Is that not 50? Could have no. had the Benny Hill music there, perhaps. We most certainly could have, Demo. Calvaresi goes short. Mark taken by Mark Lou. Kicked a good goal earlier in this term. He goes high and long, and down the line, a ball will go out the back. West Coburg have numbers on the last line of defence, it's got to work it out by hand, and they will. Been very good at that so far, although here's a turnover and a quick snap at goal for Jed Clothier. Out of bounds on the full. Almost knocked out our cameraman there. And it's a West Coburg ball on the last line of defence yet again. Our cameraman on the roof of the club rooms, if you don't mind. Anyway, it's West Coburg getting the ball moving forward. That's a great mark taken there by Dane Lucas, who started to get involved in the last couple of minutes. He kicked a dribbler up the line, ended up in the hands of Jamie Anderson. He got around a tackle and kicked back into the middle of the ground. Switch is on. Switch is on, Jambo, and they're affecting it here. Dudas sold some candy, got it moving forward there. Was Vicale. He got ball inside 50. It's a ball up. About, looks like it's about 30, 40 metres out from... Duda's goal. Just the pressure that West Coburg are applying. Duda's are just bombing the ball and, and West Coburg are just controlling the game. Duda's would love a goal before half time here. And well, they're not going to do it in that sort of traffic. Although Clothia does get a handball receive and then he just sprayed the kick horribly. Might have been touched off the boot, but it's a minor score in the end. And Duda's moved to 6 10 46, playing 12 4 76. EDFL match of the day margin back out to an even 30. As the ball will be brought in now. West Coburg is going to bring it to his broadcast side. Now Firax is in the region, but so is Shiloh Smith. No mark was taken. It's at ground level. Skiberas had to spin away from a couple of potential tacklers. Bezenik, fair way up the ground for him. He got the ball there. Hand pass came out. And now Cleary has some work to do. But getting it back was Prestia for Dudas. High ball to the square. No mark taken, out the back. Abdul Humid Saad, he just tripped over. Yellant had it and lost it. Contested footy, and it should be sorted out with the ball up. It will be a second term in a row that has gone beyond 33 minutes. Jensen, very lucky not to give away a free kick there. That's right, Chief. Ball up in the forward pocket for Duders. And there's the siren. We actually heard it this time. Bit of a surprise there, and it's half time here at Shaw Reserve. West Coburg 
lead it 12-4-76 to Essendon Dudastar 6-10-46. It's an even five-goal lead.